Tommy Tuberville. He is, of course, running for Senate in the state of Alabama, hoping to be the opponent for Doug Jones on the Republican ticket. But is he a carpetbagger? This whole thing came about because we found out that Tuberville actually did move from the state of Florida back in the year 2018. So not that long ago, back in August, turns out Tommy Tuberville moved from the state of Florida to the state of Alabama, and he announced his Senate run, oh, about, what was that, two weeks ago? So because of that, there are people speculating that he made that move intentionally so that he would be able to run for the Senate in Alabama. And Bradley Byrne, who is currently running for the same spot and the primary opponent of Tommy Tuberville, was asked about this the other day. And he said, and I quote, We don't like carpetbaggers in Alabama. I mean, the idea that you have to be near an airport, there's an airport in Mobile, an airport in Montgomery, an airport in Birmingham and Huntsville. I mean, if you want to live in Auburn, you're an hour and a half away from one of the largest airports in the world. That just doesn't cut it. Now, I like Bradley Byrne, and if given the option right now, I would pick Byrne over Tuberville. But this is a really dumb attack. And there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, why is living near an international airport something that's going to be a big deal? Also, why are we surprised that Tommy Tuberville chose to live in Auburn? That's the city he lived in when he was head football coach. So I don't understand this thing. It was like, oh, well, he has to be near an airport so that he can leave the state whenever he wants to. He's, he's got to be near and you can't live near Montgomery or live Birmingham. That's stupid. Of course the guy lives in Auburn. Where It's the only place in Alabama he's ever lived. And Auburn is one of the fastest growing areas in the state and the country. I think it was maybe three, four years ago that it was the 11th fastest growing city in America. I mean, you talk about a place that's, that's really on the upswing and dynamic. Auburn, Alabama is it. And so I really don't understand why Bradley Byrne is trying to attack the guy for living in Auburn. That should surprise literally no one. He used to be the head coach at Auburn and lived there for over a decade. Of course he chose Auburn to move to. That makes sense. And another thing, too, this idea that, well, he's a carpetbagger, this is a textbook example of an ad hominem logical fallacy. That you're attacking the person, not the issue at hand. I've been very critical of Tuberville. You can go look on my YouTube channel and look at the, uh, the, the sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess just a segment that I did where I talked for, I don't know, about 15 minutes about all of Tuberville's weaknesses, how I don't think that he's adequately prepared to run for the Senate. I went by his interviews and talked about some of the different things that he's brought up that they just don't seem to me to be the policies and the words of somebody that has really carefully considered this and fully understands what being in the Senate means. As of right now, Tuberville is my least favorite out of the Republican candidates. And again, not to say that I dislike Tuberville, I think he's a great guy and somebody that I would love to meet, somebody I'm trying to get on my show right now. It's not that I hate Tuberville. But Bradley Byrne, this is a really stupid way to go after your opponent. If you want to go after him, go after him on substance. Go after him on his lack of experience. Any of those things. That's fair game. Saying that the guy's a carpetbagger just because he moved here, what, more than six months ago? And saying that he only did that because of so he could run for the Senate? It's a stupid line of attack and it's beneath you. And another thing, too. The whole idea that Tupperville is a carpetbagger, the guy lived in Alabama for a while. He lived here for over a decade. Why should we be surprised that he moved back? Now, maybe he did move back just so he could run for the Senate. I don't know. I can't read the man's mind. But there's certainly no evidence to suggest that. And I don't think that him having just recently moved back to Alabama, let's not pretend that he's somebody like the guy we talked about a couple weeks ago that lived in Florida and contemplated moving to Alabama specifically to run. This is a guy who lived in Alabama for a very long time beforehand. 
I just don't understand this line of attack. Tuberville is not somebody that just has never lived in Alabama before, decided he wanted to be a U.S. senator, or saw that as the easiest way to do it, and moved to Alabama. This is a guy that does have roots here. He's not originally from the state, but you also have to remember that he's got family that lives here. His son went to school here. I mean, this is not somebody that has no ties to Alabama whatsoever and is only here because he wants to be a senator. It's a dumb line of attack, and Bradley Burns better than this. There's there's just better ways to score political points than this, and that's really my my bottom line here. There's plenty of legitimate ways to attack Tommy Tuberville politically if you want to say something against your political opponent. This is not a good way to do it. Normally, this is the part of the video where you would expect me to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. But the truth is, I don't really care whether you do or not. In fact, you know what? Don't subscribe. It's not like there's a lot of really important stuff going on in the world in the state of Alabama that you should probably be aware of. So, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Or don't. I don't really care. Reverse psychology. Boom.